Hi there everyone, it's Jakko here. Today I want to show you guys this free uh, fabric generator substance that I created recently and I can show you a couple of examples that what kind of uh, fabrics we can come up by using this generator. So I'm just gonna go and create new substance and maybe do like a 2K in here. I'm um, gonna use the uh, normal physically based metal roughness as a base and so on. And then I have loaded the SPS file in here. I'm just gonna drag and drop this this in here. You can also use the SPSR, whatever you like. So now we have this basic fabric uh, pattern that it uh, outputs by default. So uh, the, well, I think the easier is that easiest way to to approach this is that I'm just gonna put some values in here. Do some like maybe some beige fabric might work. So do something like uh, something like that and plug those values in there. Maybe copy this and do grayscale and then copy this again. So we have something to input and I'm going to drag this one to the roughness because well, the fabric is pretty rough. So maybe that could work as a value and maybe we can use this as a base for our normal. So I'm just going to uh, do like, uh, well, uh, maybe it's better. I'm just going to do like normal uh, color in here. You could also just do like a straight blend, but I like to do like height. Uh, use this high normal blender. So I'm going to plug this guy in and then maybe we can use um, uh, some of these. So the way how this fabric generator works is that it outputs uh, three output. One is weave and one is this random pattern, which is a uh, sort of a uh, pattern between those, like those small kind of like a small bricks that you can see in there. And that helps to give like variation to the, to the texture. It doesn't look so uniform. And then you have this blended pattern which is uh, basically this weave and random pattern blended together and then you can control that blend also if you don't want to do it by hand but maybe in this case it's good at that we will just do it by hand so we have more control so I'm just going to drag this uh, weave to our height in here to our normal and then I'm going to drag this uh, normal intensity up like maybe so and then plug this guy in there so we can s start to see what we are doing so now we get this type of effect so now this is without this random pattern. So now we can maybe do another height normal blender in here. And then I'm just going to drag this normal uh, random pattern into here and then start to add the in this. You can see that it adds this variation to the to the pattern and it respects the tile amount. So we have this pattern tile X and pattern, uh, Y in here. And then if we just do like, uh, let's say 10 and 10, you can see that we we, we drastically uh, changed the well this is like way way too it look a basket looks like a basket yeah so uh, maybe we can do like I don't know uh, 17 here another 17 here so now we have um, that and then we can also just drag this blended pattern if you like it's faster but like yeah if you want more control you definitely have that control then we have also the pattern weave and what this does is that if you just put like one, then it's just gonna be like simple, like like this. It's it's just like straight. But then if you do the weave, you get this weave pattern, which is very uh, fabric typical for all kinds of fabric. So you have like three in here. Now it looks little even looks like it's coming on a shirt. And then you can do more if you like. So you have this control in here. So it's very simple. Uh, yeah, I think you guys can get the idea what's possible with this. So then we can maybe do uh, some coloring to so do like gradient map in here. And then I'm going to do this uh, in this case, maybe just do the blended pattern and and assign some colors in here. Maybe uh, would be nice to have like some beige effect there and then maybe some gray and then maybe uh, some brown like I don't know if this makes any sense, but just for an example, then do another blend in here and then drag and drop this guy in there and maybe play with the values a little bit and so on so you can start to get some values to the base color as well and then also we can uh, sort of like figure out how the roughness would work in the fabric so in this case it's, it's good to of course have some reference and then look at the reference very closely and try to figure out how the fabric work how the fabric reflects slide and how the what parts are uh, rough and so on but maybe i'm just gonna put some values and try to see that what could work so i'm gonna do the blended pattern again and put it in there and and maybe 
it could make sense that those like uh, raised areas are maybe they could be more smooth so like we could uh, maybe invert or we could just like go in here and do subtract so so then it it inverts that so now those crevices are less smooth and then those like raised areas are more smooth so it reflects light like like so this could who knows maybe could work and then already from a distance just sort of like resemble some kind of fabric again like fabric is way way more like dense it's not that um, yeah like it this looks still like some kind of like very rough so maybe we really need to get in here and increase that maybe to like 120 and so on so we get that and you can still see that even like we are so like um, now it's already like really very the pattern is very very small we, we don't have like too too much of a like tiling in here we have like a little bit of that effect where there's, we have that like like a how how do you call that kind of cross uh, but but it's 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 still like we're still like fully random so if we look at this you can see that this is there's nothing that repeats it's still unique texture that we have so we are outputting a unique texture so now if we really want to go further and more further than that then we can start to do the tiling from here go and uh, do some tiling like two and so on so already at this point it really doesn't matter that much and then you of course you have another details and maybe you have a pattern on top of this and so on so so this uh, fabric should um, should work uh, pretty decent I think and there's many ways you can use this to create a different type of uh, uh, fabrics and materials to your project so I hope you enjoy this free fabric generator substance and just grab that from my gum road and also check my other products there are also other free substances as well so check those out so this was Yako. I hope you enjoy uh, I'll see you around bye bye